the real video game. I've played like the first level of this twice now just to make sure it's real and it is real. You know what's also real? How tangled PS1 controller cords get. There's something about them which just like makes them makes them twist in on themselves compared to the other generations. I mean, I guess three and four are. Yeah, this this is it's pretty good. <laughs> it's I'm I'm such a fan of all the opening cinematics. Also, I love that the, this whole series is published by Sony Music Entertainment, which is also just a what a weird detail. How did this happen? Twenty sixty five AD, Neural City, the underground metropolis, is located twenty point oh five degrees south latitude, sixty eight point eleven degrees east longitude. Built by the Bifloss Group, 60 meters beneath the Earth's surface. Bifrost. The human race fled to Neural City from the Earth's surface in 2038 to escape extinction at the hands of the Gigari virus, which threatened to wipe out all life on the planet. In this underground hollow, everything is controlled by a computer called Cyrus. Oh! Under the pretense of preventing population increase, the Bifloss group conducts complete population control in order to obtain superior genetic samples. A new resistance force, Del Sol, was formed to challenge Bifloss's tyrannical dictatorship. Their efforts would bring hope to the oppressed citizens of Neural City. I love that visual effect of the letters being squirmy and then resolving. It's so good. Don't worry, we got more though. There's there's more narrative content coming. Yeah, this is an active trademark. Give it to you straight, son. She's only got a week to live. A week? And until yesterday, she was so healthy and full of life. It's the Gagari virus. Once the symptoms appear, it's not long before it takes the life out of you. Isn't there anything we can do to save her? Doc, don't just stand there. Is there a way to save her or not? A long time ago, I, I do remember hearing something. Uh, Heard what? A way we can save Layla? Lafresse, that's it. Now, now I remember. I, I believe it was called Lafresse. The Lafresse flower? Pollen? It's just a theory I heard from a research scientist. The pollen contains a substance that might be capable of destroying the Gagari virus. Where? This Lafresse flower. Where can I find it? Now it's extinct in Neural City. Well then, where? I heard a rumor there are still some specimens left in Santa Visa, the Forbidden Sector. Santa Visa. Santa Visa is the only way to get above ground. Layla. So going to Santa Visa is too dangerous. There's no way you can make it. I'm going to save Layla. I, I've got to try. I swear I'll be back with the Lafresse. Layla, until then you've got to hold on. Visa must have changed a lot by now. I'm gonna need more information. Jim! That's it. Jim. Jim. He should be able to give me some kind of information I can use. We got more. Well, look who the hell it is. What do you know? You're alive after all. You too, huh? Listen, Jim, what's going on these days over in Santa Visa? I need some information. So you finally made up your mind to come back, huh? Well, no, not exactly. 
What's not exactly supposed to mean? What are you talking about? You're not coming back to rejoin Del Sol? No. No, I'm not. You can't carry the past around forever. That was an accident that happened on that mission. Forget it. It could have happened to anyone. In any case, if you want to find out about things in Sadavisa, you'll need to go to the Information Center. There's a map you can use. How recent is this? Got it about a month ago. You can't get in through the first floor entrance. You'll have to break in after destroying the second floor. Here's an ID card I for You should be able to access most Bifloss library information with it. The problem is all information on the Sadavisa sector is top secret so you won't be able to access it with this card. Security is always upgrading the cards. If you can get your hands on one of the latest master ID cards once you're in the center, you should be able to access the data you're looking for. But one thing's for sure, it won't be easy. Thanks, and uh, sorry I've been out of touch for so long. Hey, forget it. If I remember correctly, there was a problem with your protector. It's been collecting dust since the incident, hasn't it? That's right. There's a problem with its Sax ammunition discharge, right? It'll take some time to get the parts I need to fix it. For now, there's nothing to do but sit tight. You got it. Masao? What? Uh, it's just that for a minute there, talking like this, it started to feel like the old days. Jim, don't. Yeah, so if you're wondering about the deep lore and how this connects to the first Kalik, after the events of the first Kalik, the the shenanigans at the South Pole apparently unearthed the Gagari virus. And so the the like descendants of Biflos, who again, this is Biflos, that company creates an underground city that becomes humanity's last hope but they're still shitty people and our hero and his buddy carlos go on to form the the resistance group del sol but i i think so our our main character isn't the same main character as the one from kulik but are they called neurons they should be i hope they are I don't think there's actually anything I can do here right now. I... Am I his grandson? I don't think so. I think, I think the current Biflos is the grandson. Um, I think we're just like a member of the resistance group. Let me just check. I, I have, the, I have a, a PDF of the manual. I can share this later if people want. Yeah, so, okay, that's right. So the, the leader of Del Sol is Carlos Potrero, who was our buddy Carlos from the first game. And I forget what the name of the main character from the first game is, but I don't think we're that guy. All right, anyway. I think the main thing we can do here is upgrade stuff later. We can also make a save, so let's do that. Oh, Masao is, okay, that's right, Matt Coda. His name is Matt Coda. You're right, you're right, you're right, okay. Okay, yeah, now I remember. I knew it wasn't the same guy, but I thought there was some sort of relationship. Yeah. The <laughs> The follow-up game is Brahma Force, the assault on Belt Lager 9. Mwah. Yeah, look at this 3D model though. It's really a shame that they named this game Epidemic in the North American market because the, the original title is so much better.
But as you can see, this game already looks like a million times better than the first Kalik. Yeah, all dogs are good. Uh, are all mechs good? Hmm, I don't know. I think that voice is trying to tell me about the enemies I'm fighting. Yeah, we got tunes. Also, we can actually slide and stuff in this game. So the movement option in this game, like the movement's way better. Long before the Gagari virus, I carried the grave concern that one day mankind would be faced with its own extinction. Then, with the appearance of the virus, my worst fears were realized. By accommodating the human race here in Neural City, I have brought back the species from the brink of destruction. Now you have acquired the gift of eternal life through DNA. DNA is the legacy of the human species. Yo, shout out to DNA. So the, yeah, there's screens all around the levels that give us dank lore straight into our straight into our bodies Also, like all of the all of the item stuff in this game is way easier to manage. Like your lasers have a yellow bar that recharge. Only the only that bigger blue bar is is like permanent until you get to an energy station. And then also, if you run out of EP, it's not a game over. You just lose access to some options. As opposed to Kalik One, where it was just a straight up game over. Stay free, nerd. So this game is way more lenient than Kalik One. Yeah, everyone's DNA. Ooh, we got more lore. Extremely toxic virus first discovered in Rwanda, Africa. Samples were brought to the Five Floss Group's South Face by Dr. Thomas Kim, who succeeded in increasing its level of toxicity and contagion manifold. The virus consists of RNA genes and is transmitted through the air. Upon entering the human body, it multiplies rapidly in a short time, devouring the body's supply of red blood cells. Viral activity is triggered by ultraviolet light. Symptoms fail to appear in its absence. Once a host has been infected and symptoms appear, death is inevitable, even in the absence of ultraviolet light. The Bifloss group is currently involved in a project to develop an antidote. Yeah, so a reminder that Dr. Kim was the antagonist of the first game, so he's responsible for this terrible virus, or at least making it worse. the elevator can accommodate our giant armor. Alright, are these things I can interact with? No? 
Yeah, so I, there's probably going to be a lot of time spent in this game just trying to interact with things to see if they do anything. Locked. <laughs> I was hoping for more information, but no, it's locked. Get lost. generations even after the death of the physical body as long as you live in your own city your lives will never end all right as long as you live in Noral ol city yeah, no, it's it, it, I I find first person mech games in particular to be really interesting when it comes to that idea of embodiment. Third person mech games have this too. Like Armored Core and Damon X Machina doing this, but I think first person mech games often really go to great lengths to give you that sense of embodiment. Yo, they got all these deep lore rooms. The Bifrost Group began activities on a global scale at the beginning of the 21st century. My grandfather, William Bifrost, established his corporate headquarters in Chile and went on to build a business empire unrivaled throughout the world. My father, Carl Bifloss, further diversified business lines to include pharmaceuticals, foodstuffs, livestock feed, communications, oil, mining, and heavy industries, and made it one of the world's leading conglomerates. Yeah, so I want to say I think this guy is Carl. I think this is Carl Bifloss. So... Is it still an info dump? Maybe. God, this is one of those games that really makes you walk into all the tiles to like fill in the map, which totally drives me insane because I want to just rub myself on all the walls so I can fill in the map as much as possible. So the beeping is whenever I'm like, well, I think it's when an enemy is approaching me. So generally when I'm, it, and it's, but it's like really, it's a long distance. So, I mean, hopefully I'll find enemies as quickly as possible. Yeah, like, so like, I think there's an, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what is that? Oh yeah. Right, so it's, it's, I need to find whatever enemy is causing the beeping and kill it. Oh, is this a puzzle? Oh, are these corresponding to rooms? I 
way. So if I... Oh, maybe I do need to make them all blue. Yeah, because now they're flashing. Key card required. Okay, blue key card. So we, we get information sometimes. Sword guy armors. Wait, is that is that are you, is that how you're describing the mech in this game, or is that a, is that a type of mech that uh, is some from something else that I'm not remembering what it is? Okay, this must be the room that was pictured. Yeah. All right, I am not doing one of these data dumps with a beeping going on. I keep thinking these, these must be, be something, right? But like, I'm going up and pressing circle and they're not doing anything, so. Oh, oh. Damn, I, <laughs> there's so much ceiling in this game. So that room is full of blue tiles. Oh, there we go. Okay. N. Surveillance system. No attack capabilities. No attack capabilities. Well, I really can't do anything now. I'm gonna go ahead and say possibly yes. I think, um, I feel like I've heard Ignis mention Sword Guy before, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. Cause I, we've definitely had this sort of discussion about things that like are, I don't know, that are like, I guess possibly either sentient or, I mean, certainly sentient things can be mechs, right? Cause there are lots of examples of, of mechs with, with, you know, AI computers and stuff like that. Um, you know, like magically sentient or organic? I imagine I would say yes also. to the Bifloss group. This rebel alliance seeks to sabotage our great work in progress with their campaign of destruction and terror. The Bifloss group offers a cash reward for information leading to the capture and arrest of leader Carlos Potrero and all active Del Sol soldiers who threaten the peace and happiness of all. Damn, it was Del Sol terrorists. Six, five, N. 
surveillance system. No attack capabilities. All right, so I think this is the juice machine. Yeah, it's this the juice arrow. It recharges us, fills us with juice. Actually, a pretty cool looking enemy. I remember all the enemies in the first game were like triangles. Cartridge acquired. Wait, what kind of cartridge? Maybe it's like an upgrade or something. Key card acquired. Right, I think that's the blue key card. We're making progress. Oh, you know, I should go back in this room. I think there was more armor armor chips. So if you're wondering what the stats are, it is... Uh, the SP is my shield points. The EP is my exagel points, but it's basically energy. And then the HP is actually the hit points of the pilot. So you lose SP and then you lose HP. So that's it. That's that's not the elevator we came up on. But let's check the rest of the floor. Okay, so this is just a different gate. Sixty-nine. <laughs> nice. Wow. All right. I guess we're doing this. Oh man. So we have to look around for uh, for symbols, I guess, to get this key card. All right. Well, let's go look for hints. Attack capabilities. Repair parts acquired. Enemies in here now? There were definitely no enemies in here before. Hmm. I wonder if these enemies are spawning just to provide us with more like, HP. Surveillance 
source. DA-1-6-0-A. Stationary cannon. Equipped with Zack's weaponry. Oh, Zach's weaponry. I think Zach's was like the name of our pistol in, uh, oh. throwing enemies at me now. Kind of cool, though. Just coming out of here? Oh, we got infinite spawners. That's no good. There are destructible walls in this. Sometimes. Oh, uh, maybe I have to bait the enemies towards it? Is that what it is? Because maybe it was when I destroyed the... Uh... Oh, man. Does this game really do that? Damn. No attack capabilities. Yeah, wow. Okay, we're living that life now, I guess. Oh, uh, here's the solution. Okay. No, wait. Power decreasing. Decreasing. DA seven five five N XLG source. No attack capabilities. Power decreasing. Power decrease. All right. Well, let's go to the red key card doors. We got a red key card. So. DA seven five five N XLG source. No attack capabilities. So I guess that was just the map screen is what that was. And it definitely upped the complexity from the first click, but that's good. Attack. Cartridge acquired. 
Alright, so the real question is, where is the red keycard door then? Was it the thing all the way over on the left? I don't think so. Oh, I should check the locked door back here. Oh no, okay, that requires some other puzzle solution. Yeah. Right, okay. So you gotta keep my eyes out now, cause I keep, I gotta remember we need to look for the, uh, Cartridge acquired. look for the, uh, the symbols in that one puzzle room. Wait, what is on the, oh. Nah, there's nothing over here. So that was opening that door. I wonder if I can take the elevator now and that's what I need to do. I'm so used to click one where you would just never return. Yeah, what's up, see you later. How's it going? Welcome to Epidemic, AKA Kalik 2. So this is the juice machine. What? Yo, ah. educator. Thank yo. No problem. Glad I stopped by. Seems like you're having a good time with, with you there. Uh, yeah. I mean, the controls in this game are pretty standard early FPS. So, you know, left on like the D-pad, left, right is turn left, right. L1, R1 is, you know, strafe. But that was pretty typical of uh, PlayStation One first-person shooters. So I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's not optimal, but I'm kind of used to it at this point. Oh, I wonder maybe we got, can we look at our, wait, let me look at inventory. Maybe we have like an item initiation. ID card. Hmm. So I, yeah, so I'm in a mech. I'm in a, what they, the game calls them protect armor. Ooh, my pulse is 70. My temperature is 36.5 uh, degrees. Okay. Yeah, we're we're in a heavy mech phase right now on this channel. Yeah, my inclination right now is to go Fermion acquired. Fermion? What's a Fermion? No idea. That might be an upgrade item. Information center, second floor. All right, well, let's explore. 
Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we have to solve another puzzle to get through here. Fair enough. There's no other doors, right? Yeah, okay. So that big blue spot at the bottom is behind the locked door that I couldn't figure out how to get through. Um, I need to go. I need to go back to the room. I need. I need to remember where the room with the puzzle was, and also to still find the puzzle solution. I definitely feel like I'm, I'm having a hard time holding this map in my head. Okay, so this is the puzzle room. It's got these symbols that we can rotate through. Let's just set them all to 69. That seems like a reasonable solution. No. <laughs> Locked. Damn. All right, this will take, there's a lot of options. So it'll take a long time to brute force. So let's do another sweep to see if we can find a hint maybe. Oh, are they Zodiac symbols? I was thinking they were something. They looked, I don't know, they all look Greek to me. So, but, oh man, what if, see, that's always an interesting question of the game, right? Like when does the game start really pulling in what you might consider outside information? I don't know, I don't know if Zodiac symbols are outside information, but. Right, so this was the room with these these pulsating maps, but here we already turned everything to blue. I mean, that was barely a puzzle. I'm gonna check the right side of the map again. Source. No attack capabilities. I mean, I feel like, I mean, what, what does it mean to know a zodiac symbol, you know? Yo, hey there, Panda. Right, so this is where I got the the map, but I don't think this really gave us any other information.
So these these are just plants on the wall. They're not information about what we need to do. And this S Done something to turn the power on. Cartridge acquired. Cartridge acquired. DA755A. XLG source. No attack capabilities. Cartridge acquired. What are all these items I just got? I mean, we can look at them in my menu. Nope, not even once. <laughs> what? What are you being mean to Cleek about? Look, Cleek was like the lowest seed, okay? And obviously Armored Core is the best, so, you know. I was just seeding things how they had to be. I don't know, we'll see. If I have fun doing this whole Twitter thing with uh, with a bracket, next year I'll probably put a little more work into it and do like a bigger bracket with either like individual games or mechs, in particular mechs or something like that. There's a few ideas, but I only had the idea like yesterday. And so I was like, oh, let me just do it quick and dirty. Just do series. That's easy for people to glom onto. Oh yeah, no, the, the branding is very good. All right, so, man, like, where, where, like, I picked up all those items and I don't even know what for. I don't even know how I turned on the power. I'm sure there are Kalik fans out there, okay? Infinite spawning. All right, whatever. DA seven five five N. Whatever. XLJ source. No attack capabilities. Where am I going to get that information though? If anybody has any suggestions, I'm happy to take a suggestion on what to do. Already feeling quite stumped by this. I assume that these doors will open when I figure out whatever that puzzle is. I mean, I guess I should just start brute forcing that, but like there's so many characters to brute force there.
Yeah, this game is pretty dang cocoa. I'm not going to lie. All right, so that's just the dead end. Yeah, okay, so I keep thinking like maybe one of these videos would have information embedded in it, but originally functioning as a mining base for underground reservoirs of natural resources. Bifloss also took advantage of its strategic location to conduct a broad spectrum of research, including environmental experimentation concerning We already went through that elevator. Del Sol, the fanatical group of criminals, has risen in opposition to the Bifloss group. This rebel alliance seeks to sabotage our great work in Yeah, they don't say anything either. Okay. I can just figure out where... <laughs> like, there must be something I'm not looking at, right? Like, I keep thinking... I keep hoping it would be... I could like look at an item or something, but I just don't think that's going to be a feature of this game. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say no solutions on ceilings probably. No, yeah, no problem. Enjoy your preparations. Thanks for stopping by, Panda. Or like any of these small rooms that have health packs in them. I'm just trying to look at things from different perspectives to see if there is a a puzzle clue that I overlooked. I feel like this game would though would put the puzzle clue like front and center. Like it's probably in this room. That is a choice, isn't it? A real choice. Maybe do the do the letters like glow if they're on like let me just look through these. Nah, I was hoping maybe they would like appear differently or something. Locked. Yeah, I know they're locked. Hmm. God, we really haven't seen anything of Zim zodiac symbols on them though. Hmm. I might go to the second floor again just to see if there is anything there. Maybe there will. Uh, I should. All, maybe I should go back to the other floor. Maybe there was a uh, an zodiac solution there. So this door is locked. Locked. And there's nothing here. Yep. 
Yeah, let's try going back to the other floor through the other elevator. D seven five five N exiting source. No attack capabilities. Imagine voting for Nier Automata. Like, what's up with that? Right, so this was the area where we just looked at a bunch of computers that told us background information. I didn't see anything about Zodiac symbols, but I'm just gonna walk around again. Now, this first floor is pretty small, honestly. No way. Whoop, not. Yeah, first floor. Okay, yeah. So this is the second floor, though, which is why. Okay, which is why we filled in that section over to the left there. Okay, it's got the two computers in the room with items. Whatever this is, I'm gonna be so annoyed when I figure it out, probably. Noral. Right, we saw this one already. Alright, nothing there. One of these, I see, I really, do you think this game would be embedding those clues in, in the, uh, I don't know if they would. It's undecided. I keep wanting these plants to be the, the clues that I'm missing. see any hint here. Is that like something in the back of the machine or something? TA755N. Excellent resource. No. The, talking to the information machine that turned the power on. So yeah, so you got that red room down there. All right, so the green room is flashing now. I don't know what that tells us though. I, I really, I guess maybe that was just the, by, by pressing the button that turned the power on. Hi. 
I guess these things don't self-destruct though. just the big information room yeah we might be we might just be brute forcing now i don't know if i really see an alternative here I'm gonna ch check a fact to see like where the solution is because this is gonna drive me nuts otherwise. Hopefully, is there even a fact for this game? There might not be a fact for this game. <laughs> I spoke too soon. We're on our own, boys. <laughs> where we're going, we don't need game facts. All right. Uh, <laughs> Damn. You know you're you're truly in this shit when you're trying to play a game that doesn't have anything like game packs. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna start brute forcing. Uh, if someone wants to suggest the thing, I'm happy to take it. God, it's a lot of symbols to brute force though. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. I already feel like I've combed this level like several times. Hmm. I'm gonna look through, oh wait, what? What was that? Was that just locked? Locked. Just locked, okay. I'm just trying to think of what else. I mean, I don't think I can actually walk up into that ch uh, chamber where the, the the vacuum cleaners are spawning. So if there's gonna be a solution, it's gotta be somewhere else. That's the elevator back to the second floor. What is this room? I, I, is this just say make everything blue or like...
Yeah, I don't know. That's a mystery. I wonder if this is one of those games that has like uh, a walkthrough in the manual. I'm gonna check this real quick. I got the manual open here. Yep, open doors, press the circle button. Uh, most switch levers release door locks. What is this image? All right, apparently there are switches in this game that can release door locks. They look like something I would have tried to activate though, so I don't think that's it. All right, looks like maybe some of those energies I was I picked up increased like increased some of my stats or will do so later. So it seems like the uh, some of the cards that I can pick up will allow me to play videos later at certain places, so. <laughs> there, it, there's a line in the manual that says, uh, in the event of multiple light boxes that change color when you press the circle button, basic procedure calls for standardizing the colors even if there is no immediate change something may be happening elsewhere if a place comes to mind proceed there immediate oh maybe i need to change the colors in the color changing room and that'll cause something else to happen that's an idea Where was the color changing room? Oh, I think it's that big room here. Okay. All right, so let's change everything to like red. Oh, that was it. Ha! I'm an idiot. See, I thought that would have one solution, but that actually had multiple solutions, as it turns out. Oh, look at this. Look at this sucker. Wait, I'm taking a screenshot of this. No, I think Coco is still Coco still voting for sexy brutal, but So let's look at that item. And there's even a north at the top. How helpful. All right, then what were the other two? Did I just do that? I think I did that mirrored. Yeah, I did that mirrored. <laughs> oh, I totally did that mirrored, didn't I? Yep. Good job. Master ID card. 
card acquired. So I have the master ID card. That means I have to play at a particular terminal, I think. I wonder if I can play it at any, let's just try any terminal. scale at the beginning of nah, the Nah, it's probably century. my grandfather William Bifloss a step Oh, so that's just the door up there. Okay, so that's all we had to do. Simple. All right, folks, we're making progress again. We're playing the game. We're gaming. History. <laughs> As a result of the agricultural and industrial revolutions, the Earth's population grew to unprecedented numbers. At the same time, however, they were also responsible for the destruction of Earth's environment. Kilik worked to influence the development of the human race, but they continued to evolve in a direction different from Kilik's ideal life form. Okay. So humanity, I guess, was influenced by Kalik, but not quite the ideal Kalik. You may not, you may not like it, but this is what the ideal Kalik looks like. Out of Issa. A district located three kilometers north of Neural City, location of the now defunct Bifloss Biogenetic Research Institute, accessible from Neural City by means of an underground aqueduct, and from there it is possible to get above ground. Entry is prohibited to all but high ranking officials, sector guarded by police robots. All right, so this is probably the end. Does Kalik have a guardian force? I don't know. I don't know if Kalik's played Final Fantasy VIII. I like to believe that Kalik has friends. Kalik is an intelligent organism that has existed for over 3.2 billion years. For one billion of those years, he ruled on Earth. However, due to the explosion of a giant meteorite, which suddenly fell to Earth more than 3 billion years ago, the reign of Kalik came to an end. As a result of this explosion, most organisms were destroyed, and due to a pathogenic bacteria, existing life received an annihilating blow. Kalik journeyed to the South Pole in whose frigid climates the bacteria could not survive and barely managed to preserve his civilization. However, since it was impossible for him to go on living in that mortal form at the South Pole, he discovered a way to exist in DNA form, hidden deep in the recesses of the Earth. Yes. I understood all of that.
chat, I'll be expecting an essay on, uh, on Cleek by the end of stream. Thank you. like hell. Are you all right? I guess the phony ID card came in handy after all. Yeah. I got the information on Setavisa. How can I view it? Now that you've got the information, I can handle the rest. Leave the data. There's just one thing. Don't you think it's about time you leveled with me about just what the hell you're after? I need to find a Lafresse flower. Lafresse? What are you gonna do with a flower? Save somebody who's important to me from the virus. Hey, lots of people are suffering. This is different. Okay, I guess that's your business. You should get going, but be careful. They've got a really tough security system in place everywhere you go. I'll take you to the entrance of the aqueduct. Once you get that flower, get your butt back to the entrance pronto. I'll pick you up there. I wonder if that, uh, that key is fixed, the, uh, pattern on it, because that would make it pretty easy to get the, uh, to get that and run out. I mean, honestly, with, with the, with the slide dashing and the enemies not being too obnoxious yet, this could be a game that could be speedrun. Just saying. I feel way better about this game than Kalik after the first level. Well, let's go. Yeah, that's the most realistic water I've ever seen in a video game. Easily. Uh, who's ready for that ambient looping water noise for the next five hours? Yeah, don't mind me, just hugging all the walls so I can fill in the map.
Also, to look up or look down in this game, I have to hold L1 plus R1 to look up and L2 plus R2 to look down. Analysis unsuccessful. Unsuccessful? You have failed this mission. I gotta say, the levels are also way cooler in this game compared to original Clique. A lot of original Clique was just like texture panic. <laughs> Yo, Drake, thank you for the host. Hope you're having a good one, buddy. Oh yeah, no, this is, this is, like, Kalik was a, was a launch game that was a little bit of a meme. This is, like, actually a first person shooter. Like, this is actually a mech first person shooter in a, in a way that Kalik wasn't quite. Drake said horrible things about Shega. I mean, maybe he meant them. The other nice thing about this game too is that you don't have to constantly run in fear to the energy energy chargers. Like your energy depletes way more slowly in this game than first clique. Unsuccessful. Yeah, I mean, Clique One is definitely more uh, historically interesting than <laughs> a good video game. we're really missing from Kalik is the uh the little tiny tiny fragments of of live action uh acting nah i think everything is cg in this game
That hit my HP, damn. Fermion acquired. I feel like honestly, if you knew where all the uh, where all the machine gun ammo is, you can almost get by a machine gun. Really, wouldn't even really have to worry about laser charging. Uh, the voice acting is there. I would say the voice acting is just as corny. Well, I think the voice acting there's like. I'm going to say there's more of an effort for voice acting in this game, but only in the sense that there's a lot more voice lines. Who do you think you are? God? I mean, that's a all time classic, right? Acquired. Okay, so those are just little energy juicer tabs. You do know that is an FFZ mode in this channel, right? I thought we've been using that before. I mean, I know we have that in the Discord as well. The Discord that everyone should join so I can yell at you about things all day long. Which is really the reason I have a stream Discord. No, Skiller, you're banned. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that right now. later. Sanders, what the hell are you doing here? Carlos, Bifloss got him. Bifloss? They're trying to drag all the information on Del Sol out of him. Where? The tower. I never thought I'd run into you here. Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait for what? The longer we stay here, the more danger Carlos is in. I can't go with you. I'm sorry. You can't go, huh? Yeah. I guess you're not the one to count on for backup. Damn, Masao. Carlos, 
I really like how that that last CG video was like in the middle of a, a huge cavern filled with purple gas, which looks nothing like anything that we've been doing. Record card, huh? Okay. So have we filled out most of this map? Yeah, it looks like it. That one area at the bottom, I think, was uh, somewhere that we couldn't get through because of debris. Sadavisa Basement, B1F. So I need to do something to restore power. Locked. All right, that's the elevator I just came out of. Man, and that thing attacks you directly in the HP. That's brutal. Downstairs. Oh no, there's another door here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Power on. Power off. Why does this game become Brahma? I mean, <laughs> that's a question you're gonna have to ask Genki. Genki apparently still exists, but they don't really seem to do much. I don't really know what they do. I think they mostly do Pachinko now. But they do have a website you can go to and they still have the same stupid logo. Wait a second. Yeah, so they still have that, that little hand-drawn logo with the face with the hair. It's really good. Robot. 
equipped with laser weaponry. Galilium amorphous. This metal emits almost no heat due to friction, is easy to process and incredibly strong. By theoretical calculations, it could improve the Zax firing cycle by 200%. How dare they make more corners for me to have to fill the map in? Monsters. Repair parts acquired. Analysis unsuccessful. Accessing analysis mode. Analysis unsuccessful. Let's go to the other door that we can open up. Good, just a big room to fill in on the map. Just what I always wanted. It's interesting to me that this this game does seem to like uh, infinitely spawning enemies to some extent anyway. I mean, it's not uh, overbearing because you have a pretty solid selection of weapons, but... Keeping on. Damn, those guys chunked me. All right, we got to be a little careful now.
Uh-oh. Yeah, we did it. Where's the Lafresse? From Santa Mesa, go above ground. Above ground, huh? According to my data, it shouldn't be too far now. Unidentified life form ahead. There it is. Layla, hold on. It shouldn't be long now. Damn, we're making progress. We already got Lafresse. Oh, am I just going back now? Looks like you succeeded in getting your hands on the Lafresse. Get back to your point of entry. I'm making necessary preparations to recondition your armor and wait for you. You might run into some robots, so stay sharp. Yeah, I was going to say, there's probably some places where I could pick up some ar more uh, armor, some shield points. So we just gotta make our way back through this map, right? Yeah. Is there, I think there might have been some extra goodies here. I oh, know, it's just med packs. Okay. That's right, this is the juice. Oh, there is stuff here, wait a second.
Fermion acquired. I didn't realize there was all this map I just ran past. It's kind of interesting to me, like, I, you know, when it comes to video games and like filling out maps, being able to bypass a lot of the map, to me is always sort of a good thing because it means you can speed around it quickly, but also if you really like exploring, there's a lot to explore. It's also wild to me how much of this is devoid of enemies, it's just like extra juice. Oh, nice. I got it. I brought back the Lafresse. You did? Give it to me. I just hope we're still in time. Layla. Masao, I see the flower did the trick. It's written all over your face. So what brings you here today? I met Sanders in Sadavisa. So Sanders is still in Sadavisa. Things must have gotten bad. I guess you know about Carlos. Why didn't you tell me? When you came here the other day, it would have been a waste of effort to tell you Carlos had been taken prisoner. Jim, I'm going back. I'm gonna help Sanders. Wow, our boy Masao is in it. Damn. I guess there really isn't anything I can do on the status screen besides just look at ammo counts. All right. Cool. Back in the Sata Visa basement, reused resources. Oh yeah. That's the good shit. It is, it, it's a little unusual, I feel like, that ammo totals persist through the game. Like, it made sense for the first Kalik, but it doesn't quite make sense for this game. 
since they're returning returning to a home base each time. So why did my map do that? Well, I'm talking about ammo, though. I have full health and full energy. It's the ammo that's the issue. Alright. Alright, fine, Skiller. You got me. was that? Oh, wow. All right, that's really bad. Damn, those, those little scorpions really murder you. Holy crap. Oh, these are both elevators, huh? All 
Alright, let's explore this way. Alright, we're fine. I mean, the game gives you so much uh, shield SP repair, so fine by me. Power decreasing. Oh no. Yeah, okay. So I guess all these are unpowered right now. We have to fix it. Power decreasing. Yeah. All right, let's go explore. Seems like a boss room. I can't hold out much longer. Take a saw. I could use a hand quick. Damn, hard as hell. You love to see it. What the hell did you come back for? You telling me you don't need my help? I didn't say that. You hit bad? It's nothing. Just a scratch. Looks like more than just a scratch. Let's head back to Jim's place and get this protect armor fixed up. Okay. The way out is just up ahead. Come on. You can follow me. Cartridge acquired. Wow, are you actually following a friendly unit in this game? Incredible. I, ne I never thought we would see a friendly in a Kalik game. Take a look at Sanders' protect armor. Man, looks like you took some pretty good shots. Five Floss and company aren't fooling around. It was swarming with killer robots out there. They're beefing up their security precautions, which means that from here on in, you're gonna have to lay out your strategy very carefully. First, let me get this suit ready for action. Why don't you two get a little rest? We'll be at my place. We'll wait for your call there. Masao, thanks for helping us out. Layla. How do you feel? Masao, much better. Is someone there with you? It's all right. It's just an old friend, Sanders. What the hell? Sanders, what's the matter with you? Masao, what the hell is this? Some kind of joke? Or a trap? 
You trying to set me up? What are you talking about? What joke? This can't be true. Not you. Don't tell me you risked your life for her. You're damn right I did. It was the only way to pull Layla through the virus. You got a problem with that? So you're asking me to believe you don't know who she is? Masao! What are you saying? She's by Floss's daughter, for God's sake! Sanders, don't play games with me about Layla. Why don't you ask Layla here who's playing games with who? Go ahead, ask her. Layla, tell me he's wrong. He's got to be wrong. <gasps> well, Layla, answer me! <gasps> Layla. <gasps> so you really didn't know. <gasps> Maybe the two of you should go have a good long talk. Layla, wait. I didn't mean to lie to you, really. You gotta believe me. But you gotta believe Layla, me. We've been fighting to overthrow Bifloss for all this time. He's obsessed with delusions and fantasies. I'm, I'm sure he'll wake up and come to his senses. I. No matter what happens, Layla, I love you. But right now I have to go. You stay here. I'll be back. Listen, I don't want to believe it myself. Masao, I understand how you feel, but for now, the only thing you should be concentrating on is getting Carlos out of there. Right. I was talking to Jim about ways into the tower. It looks like entry via the aqueduct is getting more and more difficult. With this equipment, even if you make it to the tower, you'd never make it back alive. With today's SJ-107R, there are limits, no matter how much you rebuild it. Then what can we do? Are you saying we haven't got a prayer? Not necessarily. In the Bifloss Armory, there's a new type of armor, the SX-911. You need to get to it. SX-911? With its modern weaponry, you'll have a much better chance. All right, let's get a move on. I have a detailed layout of the armory, but in order to get to the armor, you will each have to attack from opposite sides in order to break through Bifloss defenses. Unfortunately, that's all the information I have on the armory. Good luck. Damn, that was some content. That was some goddamn content. Key card already. Let's go.
fire. Alright, looks like this is just the room full of goods and services. Our key card. door, I assume. Yellow key card required. Yellow key card? <laughs> the door's got a red stripe on it. Come on. Unlocked. This is Sanders. Do you copy? Looks like some new jamming system just kicked in. We might lose the comlink. Uh-oh. Alright, so that was a one-way switch, and that's just stuck on now. The protect armor is so big, even like moving back and forth in the hallway like this doesn't really seem to get you away from it.
This is Sanders. I've taken out the jamming system. The comlink has been restored. Oh. All right. Key card acquired. Diego. All right, never mind. <laughs> Diego doesn't want to say hi. All right, wait a second here. Wait a second. We got Diego. Oh yeah. Look at this boy. Look at this good boy. Why do I gotta be on Why do I gotta be on camera? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. <laughs> wow, it made him go away. Well we tried. I disabled the sensor line. Now you should be able to get over here. I'm going on down to continue the search. Yo, what's up, Archie? Welcome, welcome to Kalik 2. Even more Kalik than Kalik 1. This feels like a boss. Click too, you're mad. Who do you think you are? God? This level seems super straightforward. We've just been going through and flipping switches and getting key cards. Hey, Sam, this is crazy. What do you think goes on in Five Flosses' head? Messing with DNA like this. <laughs> what do you think goes on in his head messing with DNA like this? I don't know, man. Messing with DNA. Keep accidentally using missiles. I really gotta be careful about that. No attack capability. Caught those missiles in my face. Got 
cartridge acquired. I have no idea what these cartridges do. Oh, that's a missile. I got missile cartridges. That's what they were. Okay. I think it's the first time in the game I've actually gotten fresh missiles. Which makes sense, I suppose. We are in an armory. That seems ominous. Oh, hey, it's a juice machine. I wonder if those cameras do anything. It says they have no attack capabilities and they aren't attacking, but like, do they actually do anything? I don't know. Damn. What does it take to put these suckers away? Did they use some kind of indestructible DNA to make them? Some kind of indestructible DNA? Repair parts acquired. On the subject of Clique 1, the soundtrack was like Brian Eno on Valium. That's a good quote. Repair parts acquired. 
Where's the protect armor? Oh no. Cartridge acquired. So it seems like activating the switches in this room are it's kind of our main activity right now, it feels like anyway. then. Well, it says keep out, so... Okay, we're getting lots of missiles now. go through that uh that elevator then that was probably the one i came up through let's take a look at the map
successful. Repair parts acquired. Really? Locked. Wait, did I actually hit that switch last time? Oh, it just opened. Locked. Wait, what? Is it timed? Yeah, there's no way I can make that. green We're doing it. We're, we're still going. What's up? How you holding up? Fighting like this brings back old times. I know back then Carlos used to ride you pretty hard, but I'm sure he had his reasons. High polymer liquid acquired. Is it high polymer liquid? Sure, why not? was that item though? High polymer liquid. for what we gotta do. Are these 
windows aren't showing yet. These windows are just showing a connected room. Sons of what? <laughs> Come again? We took a lot of damage there. Finally get the new protect armor. doing now wait a second i'm back where i've been before Alright, 
Well, this is a good find, at least, for moving forward. How's it going, Zeon? Yeah, I guess I am a fast bad boy. This could be a fast bad game. <laughs> it's not licensed, but you know, people might not might not like it. We'll see. That's the society you want to be in, and that's the society you want to be in. It's way too quick. It's way too quick. I keep thinking like, oh, maybe I could do it. No, it's way too quick. Probably be offline by then, ZM, but thanks for stopping by. Bed video is pretty cool for sure. Crew did a really good job. Cartridge acquired. dead? again.
But at least we're still exploring unexplored maps, so that's a good sign. we got on this map to fill in well the juicer is around the corner though so I might go hit that real quick because we're halfway through juice Oh yeah, the juice machine. Maybe I go back through the elevator. Um, well, let's try going to the exit. Maybe the mission is abandoned now. Is there anything else in this first? Because I really don't feel like the answer's in the first floor. I probably have to go back to the second floor. back to that area before right yeah I mean this is definitely way better than original clique but then also original clique was a launch title So this was the big boss room. It was pretty cool. Uh oh, I just turned around. That's what it was. I got turned around. Hashtag lazy chaser. This is the SX-911. Nice. 
nice. Oh, our HUD is completely different now. <laughs> oh my god. So, so, this is an SX-911. Man, would you look at this. The basic operation looks the same as the SJ-107, huh? Jim. The BDCS is the latest model. And the charge supply, it's incredible. Jim. It's even equipped with a shield barrier. Jim. Jim. What? Sanders. Sanders. What about Sanders? In the arsenal. They got him back in the arsenal. Wow. I can't believe it. One thing's for sure. They're gonna pay for this. You're going to the tower alone? Think Carlos is still up there? should be on the third level. Let's just hope he's still alive. Third level. Got it. Hold on. Layla told me the password to get into the tower. Layla. Once you're in the tower, the first thing you've got to do is lock the doors and cut the circuits. If you don't, they'll know exactly where you got in. When you get Carlos out, report to me at once. Hey, Seems fair. what have you got there? That's beam reflective coating, isn't it? With this material, I'd estimate your armor will take half as much damage. Wow. All right, folks. Uh, it is almost 10.30, so I think that is going to be it for me. But let us just go see who is on.